Prayer for When You Fear God's Calling by Alicia Headley, read by Leah Martin. And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Deuteronomy 31.8 Has the Lord prompted you to go do something recently? It could be something big or small, but you know God is telling you to go and do it. For the past year, the Lord's been speaking to me and my husband's hearts about moving across the country. This was a very big decision. At the time, it didn't make a lot of sense. I wrestled it and resisted it, mainly due to fear. After months of praying about it, God kept taking me to today's verse. Moses was told by God that he was not going to be allowed to enter the promised land with the nation, and he'd be passing on the job to Joshua. Moses encouraged Joshua, saying, The Lord will cross over the land before him, verse 3, and so he should be strong and of good courage, and not be afraid of what's ahead of you, verse 6. He then goes on to say in today's verse that God will be with him and will see him through to the very end, that he will not leave nor forsake Joshua. Do you feel God is calling you to go somewhere, but you fear what's on the other side? Perhaps he's asking you to go speak to a family member or coworker about your faith. Or maybe God is calling you to go into a deeper relationship with him asking you to rid yourself of things or people that are hindering you from moving forward in your purpose. It could be God asking you to go into a new career or step into a new calling. Or is God pulling you to just cry out to him right where you are in prayer with what's on your heart at this very moment? You're braver than you know, even if you don't feel it. I was scared to make the move across the country. I felt afraid at times, not knowing what was waiting for me on the other side. But I knew as God promises us in Scripture, and He is faithful to His promises, that God would be with me. I didn't need to know every detail. I just needed to do the thing God called me to do. And once we do the first thing, we continue to seek Him for guidance on the next thing, the next step, and the next yes. Let's cling to his promise to go do what he's calling us to do. We can know full well he's with us and will never leave our side. Let's pray. Dear Lord, oh, how we love you. We love how you've already gone before us. We love that you've already paved the way. We love that when we step out in obedience, that you promise to continue to be with us, and you will then go behind us. Thank you for the promise that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. That even if we don't know every detail as to why you're telling us to go do something, that we can cling close to you, staying attached to you, knowing you'll direct us. Please continue to direct us one next step at a time. Father, please give us peace and courage to do the next thing. Thank you for choosing us to partner with you to fulfill your purpose here on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew 6.10 We pray that in moments of weakness and doubt that we would run closer to you and not run away. That when the future looks dim, and looks nothing like what we expected, that we know that you are the author of the story and know how the story ends. You are faithful, God. Remind us that you're in control as we choose to trust you this day. Thank you for being sovereign over my life. We praise you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.